At least three Labour Party councillors who were suspended from the party yesterday is the Burnley councillor, Shah Hussein, who joins us now from Blackburn. Shah Hussein, what did you mean by your tweet um, that you should see what the rest of the world thinks? And this was a tweet that you sent to an Israeli footballer where you said you are a complete and utter plonker, you and your country doing the same thing that Hitler did to your race in World War II. Right. And firstly, I'm quite disappointed that the tweet has come out now in 2016. It was um, it was written during 2014, during the Gaza crisis, yes. in, res in response to um, another footballer making a comment about killing of children in Gaza. So, and... Uh, it's, it, came, it was written then, now it's come out. I'm assuming it's come out because of political reasons. And but do you, still, I, do you still believe that sentiment about comparing Israel and what the Israeli government is doing in your mind to children in Gaza with what Hitler did when Hitler murdered six million Jews, homosexuals, gypsies and political opponents? Mm. What what I was merely stating is that um, what the uh, state of Israel is um, doing within Gaza and uh, can be made comparable to what happened to the European Jews. Right. Do you think um, it's appropriate in your role as councillor to make that comparison? And I was merely stating um, events that have actually happened. Right, but do you think it was appropriate to make those comments? That comparison, you think, yes, you think it, it is? Yes, it was appropriate in 2014 when the conflict between Israeli and Palestinians were taking place and innocent children were losing their lives. Yes, at that time... You would deploy using Hitler and that historical comparison where six million Jews I, were murdered to an Israeli. I was, I was uh, like I said, I was stating... And at that time, or what was happening within Gaza. What did you mean, though, I said by your tweet, you should see what the rest of the world thinks? What does the rest of the world think? Well, in terms of what? Well, in, well, terms of, you, you, in terms of what was happening at Gaza at that time? Yeah, but what do you mean? Well, there was, a, there was an outcry within, within the rest of the world what right. was happening within Gaza. What do That's you think, what I meant. Right. What do you think about your suspension from the Labour Party? It's unfortunate, but within within the pre, uh, present climate, the witch hunt, the witch, uh, witch hunt that is going on, and uh, it's it's uh, you know I thought it was expected that would happen. Oh, you did expect it would happen, but are you going yeah, to fight the suspension? Because there was a, obviously, I would. Uh, yeah, obviously, I would be. But so there was a witch. Is it in your mind? Is it appropriate for any politician when criticizing regimes they dislike? So, for example. Politicians have said they dislike Saudi or Pakistan or Egypt or Syria. Is it also fair to say it's the fault of the people who live in those countries? Like I said, I was merely stating what was happening in 2014. It's unfortunate that I happen to be a Muslim councillor and therefore my comments have been taken out of context and, they, and uh, have been, as such, have been censored. What, what, what context have they been taken well, out of? Well, why am I on here on this uh, TV show today trying to explain uh, comments that was made in 2014? Right, but are you saying that you don't agree so with those you, comments now? Are you, are, you, are, you, are you saying if I wasn't a Muslim councillor, I, you know, I still would be here? No, so well, what I'm asking it. you is if you so inserted no, asking, different words, if you inserted different words into some of the tweets you said, I mean, if you link the actions of a Syrian or Egyptian government with the rights and lives of Arabs generally, would that be appropriate even in... 2014 or today? If those dictators were killing those people, yes. Wouldn't right, it be? you would think it was appropriate. So how are you going to fight your suspension from the Labour Party? Oh, I mean, that's for me to uh, discuss uh, with, with, with my uh, colleagues and so on. But, uh, I mean, I was merely here trying to state uh, as to why that in a tweet that was made in 2014 has become relevant in 2016. Is it because of a political agenda that is happening? Is it because that I'm a Muslim councillor and as such those comments have been uh, taken into that context? 
Right, so you think you're being unfairly targeted. You don't think there's anything wrong with those comments because you told the Press Association uh, that you would fight the suspension and added, if Jewish people find it offensive, what you said about comparing what Hitler did to the Jews with what was happening in Gaza, then they need to think about what the rest of the world thinks. No, I didn't say that. I said that what was happening in 2014 in Gaza, in Palestine, can be comparable to what happened All right, well, to European Jews in World War II. Shah Hussein, so that, because we have here in the studio Keith Vaz, Labour MP who chairs the Home Affairs Select Committee, what do you think of what Shah Hussein has said, that it is appropriate to make that mm. comparison? I personally believe it is totally inappropriate, but I won't discuss his case because I sit on the National Executive Committee and I may have to deal with the case as one of the members who sits in judgment, so I won't talk about particular cases, but I will talk about an attitude. I think that Jeremy Corbyn was absolutely right to set up this inquiry. There needs to be a full inquiry into this issue. There is a problem within the party. It needs to be addressed. And to have put Shami Chakrabarti in charge is the right thing to do, because you can't tell her what to do. I spoke to her last week after her appointment. I actually don't think two months is going to be long enough. I think she's going to have to put up an interim report because uh, judging by the number of emails that I get on the issue of racism, I think she want to examine those as well. So lots of people will want to come forward and give evidence. But as you know, the Home Affairs Committee has its own yes, inquiry I'm going to ask you that. But, but you would denounce the tweet that Shah Hussein made, even if it was made in 2014 at the height of the Gaza conflict? Absolutely. I think there is no room for anti-Semitism or racism within the Labour Party. I have been a member for... Um, for decades, and I would not be a member of a party that allowed such views to be tolerated. On this particular case, he is going to have to go through a process and he will have to put his views forward. I won't talk about him because I might be sitting on his case, um, but I will say those views expressed by anyone are repugnant and should not be accepted and should be condemned absolutely. Shah Hussein, what's your reaction to that? Look, I've made, I've made a tweet in 2014 and with, uh, in response to a tweet that was uh, done by a footballer say, uh, making and uh, saying stop killing children. And I merely stated what was happening in Palestine. I did not make an anti-Semitic comment. I, don't, you can't, I, I believe if we really wanted a debate about um, what was happening within Palestine, you have to get over this um, uh, issue. Be I think because me being a Muslim, I feel that that, c that tweet has been taken out of context. What do you say to that? Now, well, I think that hang on a second, Shah Hussein, uh, just uh, keep that on. You know, we can go on forever talking about whether it was in context or out of context. The fact is, we now have an inquiry to look into this particular issue. It needs to be But Shah Hussein ranging. thinks it's a witch hunt. He thinks that he is being attacked to some extent because he's a Muslim counsellor. No, I don't think that that is the case. I don't believe, if you look at Jeremy Corbyn's history and where he comes from and the things that he said about issues of this kind, he is not the kind of person who would lead a witch hunt. He wants a big inquiry into this. I welcome this. Mm. I think we should look at a much wider, uh, have a much wider approach, look at structures, look at processes. And I, as I say, I think that uh, Shami Chakrabarti's inquiry is going to last too long. I think the party, I was not in the country last week, and it's not an excuse, um, but I think that it wasn't handled in the best way. It was a bit of a shambolic response, but now Jeremy has pulled this back. He's got this inquiry. The NEC has not met. We will meet to discuss That's Labour's ruling executive. on the 17th of May. Right. I mean, Shah Hussein, have you been contacted by the party as to when you will be meeting with the National Executive Committee? And I haven't, but I'm sure I've got, I've got all absolute faith in the Labour Party and its processes. And like Keith said, uh, I welcome a thorough investigation into uh, the, these issues that have been highlighted. In my case, I, and I want to make it clear again, that the tweet that I made in 2014 was related to mm. the um, Gaza conflict. So you then. don't think it was anti-Semitic and, and you would say you're not anti-Semitic? Uh, I merely commented on an, a response by a footballer right. to another footballer. But what's the answer to my question? Yeah. Are you and an anti-Semite? I'm not an anti-Semite. Right. Okay. That but was the I, I, but I do, I do, I, but I do see the issue of Palestine and Israel having 
a great effect on the Muslim community in Britain because when I go knocking on the doors and uh, constituents tell me that the the way the media and, and governments and so on throughout the world and you think play Yes, go on, sorry. Uh, they, 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 they see a different attitude towards the conflict in, in the Middle East and conflicts elsewhere. And you think it's better to blame Jews in general? No, no. Look, you, you take, you're putting words into my mouth. I'm not no, saying that. No, I'm asking that. the question. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is it should be seen, it, we should have a, a, a debate about what is happening and the debate should be without being called a Semite if you're making, All right. if you're making a statement which may, may not happen to be supportive of Israel. All right, thank you very much, if, Shah if, Hussein, for coming on to the programme. Um, Keith Faz, on the inquiry into anti-Semitism that the Home Affairs Select Committee is doing, do you think Naz Shah, the MP who's been suspended, should participate? Because well, she's Naz, an MP on that committee. Naz will be coming to the committee today at 2 o'clock and meeting the committee and discussing it with the committee. And that is what we have to wait for. She will be there, she will talk to the committee and a decision will be made. What do you think? What's your view? Should she still serve on that committee I, for this inquiry? I chair the committee. And I think it's right that the committee as a whole should hear from Naz Shah rather than give you my own personal views. Mem chairman of the select committees don't have the power to discipline, nor do they have the power to remove. So she could stay. I mean, depending on what happens today, she could still remain on that committee while this inquiry is going it is, on. It is entirely a matter for my colleagues. Party. It is an all-party committee. People are, are elected to the committee. She's going to come at two. I've spoken to her last week. She's coming at two and she's going to talk to the committee and a decision will be made today. Could she be called as a witness um, on the uh, inquiry itself, bearing in mind it's on anti-Semitism and she's been suspended for anti-Semitic tweets? Anyone could be called as a witness. I hope today we'll be publishing our list of witnesses um, for this very important inquiry. Will which Jane actually, Livingstone be on that list? Which actually predates the Labour Party's inquiry. Can I just tell you yes, that? Yes, it does. Um, uh, well, he might be. Um, it depends on the committee. I don't choose all the witnesses. The committee as a whole will decide who they should call. But I, I'm already foreseeing that this is going to be slightly longer uh, an inquiry than I anticipated when David Winnick, who is uh, the senior member on the committee, suggested we hold one. Right. I think anyone can give evidence, anyone can write in, but those who give oral evidence, we will need to specifically call. And it could be... Um, we've actually written to the leaders of all three parties and ask them whether they would... Uh, what impact yeah. is this going to have on Labour's performance in Thursday's elections? Well, of course it's going to have an impact because people don't like to see a disunited party. And I think that Jeremy, therefore, was right to try and pull something back from the slight shambles we had last week and put it on a proper process. At the end of the day, I hope people will decide on, for example, who they would like to see run Scotland, mm. Wales, London But you and admit all the this is going councils. to have an impact and an effect? I think everyone agrees that it's going to have an impact. Um, I have to say there are other things that will have an impact uh, as well. Um, I'm sure in the city of Leicester the recent success of my football we team. We will, and I can see you're wearing the scarf <laughs> and very loyal, of course, as one of the city's MPs. But can I just draw your attention to a, another tweet? This is from a London Assembly candidate, uh, Murad Qureshi, who also said you can almost get away with offending anyone as long as they're not Jewish. How would you judge that? Well, he's wrong. Um, Murad Qureshi is wrong to say that. I don't accept that and I don't agree with it, and I hope that he will have the opportunity of uh, correcting what he has said, because that can't be right. Um, Should he also be suspended? Well, I don't, I don't make these decisions. In fact, I'm not... Isn't the, the question, Keith, isn't the question, Keith, how many more Mr Hussein's are there? We just saw him being interviewed, wholly unapologetic, uh, claiming he's been victimised because he's a Muslim. He said that three times, I think, maybe four times in the interview. You know, and, and when Corbyn was going for the leadership, it was well known that he was very strongly pro Palestinian, hugely critical of Israel and friendly with people who want to see Israel obliterated. Of all those hundreds of thousands of people that joined the Labour Party at three quid a pop last year, mm -hmm. how many of those share that view? That's the question, isn't it? Well, the point, and Nigel makes a very important point, but he knows from his own party there are examples of individuals who yes. hold particular views and you take action, you have your inquiries. The difference with um, the way in which your may have handled it and we've handled it is we've actually handed it out of the party. You're right. 
uh, when these views come forward, they need to be dealt with, as you have dealt with them in the past. This is Jeremy's way of dealing with it. It's the right way. Shami Chakrabarti, nobody can tell her what to do. She is completely independent, and she will say what she thinks is right. But we shouldn't be in a position where um, uh, we make this decision. I think it has to be taken out of yes. the hands. And of on that basis, though, Najwaraj, yeah. because um, Keith Vaz is right, you know you've been on this program many times where we have put to you various things that have been yeah, said yeah, yeah. and tweeted by yeah. uh, UKIP members junior, and, count and people, councillors. Yeah. Fine. But you said then at the time that mm. these exist in every party. They exist yeah. in your party oh, and they exist no, in every party. Look, we kick somebody out from a fairly senior voluntary position not three months ago. Uh, for making what we judge to be inside the party an unpleasant anti-Semitic comment. So, yeah, of course, all organisations suffer with this sort of thing. I think the question is a different question. As I say, I wonder how many Mr Hussein's there are. Let's be well, honest. We've about already it. heard that there's been a denial from the Labour Party that 50 well, being suspended yeah, for is, is well, a wild overestimate. Well, it's finish, actually about 60. Well, it, it'll finish up a lot, lot higher than that. This has just started. You know, once this can of worms is opened, you, you know, people's social media starts to get looked at. This won't go away in a hurry. And Keith acknowledged that. Yes, so, absolutely. And said it will take some time. Take longer than two months. Um, I'm yeah. quite sure of it. The question is. Has the Labour Party not allied itself too closely uh, in many Midlands and Northern cities with effectively sectarian politics? Right, well, what the, do you the, say the, to the, that? I mean, is the, that the what's Muslim happened, very mind now, your in The Muslim vote now is very, very big in many of our inner cities, and I, I suspect... Uh, Are that, you blaming the Muslim community? You're saying the Muslim community I'm blaming, I'm has saying, a lot sort of anti-Semitic... I saw George Galloway win that by-election in Bradford West on openly sectarian political hmm. lines. But it changed right. when, obviously, Labour won it back. I think... Well, 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 I, well, 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 well hang on, did it? I, th I, did think, it. <laughs> I think the way we look at communities is important. I think we have a lot of communities. In the past, it was the far left that used to manipulate communities in particular ways. This does not happen uh, now, I don't believe. I think that is why it's important to look at these issues very, very carefully and let the community speak for themselves. All right. There are many people who don't share the views uh, that we have heard today uh, coming from this particular councillors, and we should we should hear from them. Just briefly, Leicester. Yes. Have you been partying all night? I went last night. It, we were.